Now, this is the moment when the hearts begin beating a little bit faster backstage. We're about to begin the interview competition. And I'll remind our audience that uh, poise, intelligence, personality, and the content of the answers here are equally important in this competition. Now, for any contestant who feels she may have difficulty understanding or expressing herself in English, we have interpreters from De La Vega Professional Translating Services standing by. And we'll meet first Miss Jamaica Kimberly Mays. She's 21 years of age from Kingston. She's been a model all over the world. And uh, you should come over here, my dear. Right here. You've been in Paris and Tokyo and all of this. You had a very successful career, but you're talking about starting another one? Yes, I'm starting. I'm going to start broadcasting in Jamaica, hopefully. We're going to have two new stations, another TV station, and so there'll be a lot of job opportunities, and hopefully I'll get one of those. What would you like to do? Television broadcasting the news, or maybe start my own show. Tell me, if you will, what it's like to grow up in your home country. Well, it was, it's very different from growing up here. My brother and I, we had to, we had to be, make our own toys. And uh, at school, we had to wear, most of the schools, all the children have to wear uniforms. And I think this is great because you can't tell the difference between rich or poor. And it's a great disciplinary factor for us. Thank you very much. Would you step over here and the judges will give you a score. It's Miss Jamaica. Next is Miss France, Mareva George. She enjoys modeling and yoga, grew up in Tahiti. She lives in France now where she's a university student. We have a translator standing by just in case. What are your plans for the future? Oh, after this pageant, I will go back to France to, to pursue my, my title as Miss France. And in September, I will pass my exam to try to have my diploma. Uh, what will be your... Um Oh, what's the word specialty when she when you graduate? Do you understand me? What will she specialize in? Quelle sera ta spécialité? Euh, je fais quelque chose d'assez général en ce moment et je vais me spécialiser par la suite dans le tourisme. I am presently doing general studies and uh, I uh, subsequently will go into tourism. This is a silly question. You walked on hot coals once in Tahiti. Why? Yes. Um, C'est une coutume qu'on fait chaque fête de juillet à Tahiti et j'ai voulu essayer afin de savoir uh, si, quelle expérience c'était parce que j'estime que c'est une expérience merveilleuse et qu'il faut vraiment y croire pour marcher sur le feu. What did she say? This is, this, is an, this is something that we do every July in Tahiti, it's a tradition. And I wanted to try it out because I wanted to see how it felt to experience walking on fire. You wouldn't do it again? No. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Would you please step over here? This is Miss Rance. All right, next we have Miss Yugoslavia, Natasha Pavlovich, who's an actress, appeared on stage and television. She would like to start her own production company someday. I discovered why your English is so good. You are a UCLA graduate. Now, why, why would you like to have a production company and take on all those headaches? Well, I would like to dedicate it to my grandmother who has inspired all her grandchildren so much uh, because she grew up during the German occupation in Yugoslavia and raised seven children and gave all of herself, her spirituality, to all her grandchildren. And I'd like to make a movie about this based on the novel that I'm writing. You know, any producer has to be a good salesperson. Are you uh, good at sales? Can you sell well? I think so. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I have a feeling you can. Uh, we wish you all the very best and good luck. Would you step over here, please? And let the judges have a moment. This is Miss Yugoslavia. Next is Miss Paraguay, Vivian Benitez. She's a third-year law student who's putting herself through law school working in a bank. And uh, we have a translator standing by. Uh, you are going to be a lawyer soon. If you discovered that your client was guilty, would you defend him? Would you like her to translate? Vas a serte abogado pronto. Si fueras a descubrir que tu cliente era culpable de los cargos, ¿lo defenderías a pesar de eso? Creo que mis principios no lo permitirían que lo siguiera defendiendo. I believe my principles wouldn't allow me to continue to defend him. Very good. A change of subject. Uh, poetry has been very important in your life. Why? La poesía ha sido algo muy importante en tu vida. ¿Por qué? 
Sí, realmente eso tiene una historia. Yo era una niña muy tímida y he estudiado poesía desde muy pequeña y eso me ayudó mucho a relacionarme con mucha gente y a ayudar a muchos niños también. There's a story behind that. I used to be very timid as a, sh a child, and so I started reading poetry, and that has helped me to relate to other people and to also relate to children. For wonderful memory. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Uh, would you step over here, please? This is Miss Paraguay. Next is Miss Curacao, Jacqueline Krieger. She's 23 years of age. Back in Curacao, she works in public relations. Jacqueline, you said you wanted at one time to enter the Miss Universe contest because you would want to tell people about your home country. Now, you're going to reach 600 million people tonight. What would you tell them about Curacao? Well, my island is a very friendly island, like a lot of islands. The people are very uh, friendly to everybody. And it's always sunny there. It's an island in the Caribbean, but a lot of people don't know. And uh, we have a Dutch style there. There are some houses with, uh, who have a Dutch style. And that's very typical in the Caribbean. So everyone is invited. Everybody, from now, I invite everybody there to my beautiful island. <laughs> All right, let me change subjects for a moment. You're into classical dance and pantomime. Could you give me a little sample of just a small bit of pantomime? <laughs> you don't need a mic for this. There you are, Miss Curacao, thank you very much. Would you step over here for a moment? Right over here, thank you. Miss Curacao. Thank you, ladies, very much, and that completes our first five interviews. Well, I am very impressed with these girls, and I'll tell you why. They have no idea, of course, what question they're going to be asked. And most of them speak English as a second or sometimes a third language, so they really are remarkable, very poised. The next group, Angela, coming up, who do you have your eye on? Of course, we have to watch out for Miss USSR and Miss Mexico, who became first and second in the preliminaries. But we have to look out for Kelly, Miss USA, too. She brought 300 people from Kansas, and she's a great talker. And Miss Netherlands has a great sense of humor. Very she's funny. so funny. Sometimes that much support can bring pressure for the girls. We'll see how it factors in. The interviews with the next five semifinalists are coming up right after this. <laughs>